I have um I'll, I'll call PDRM on on him. Thanks, yes. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Turkey with Nandini. Yes, so today let's just jump right into it, right? Um mm-hmm. let's talk about how our lifestyles have changed ever since MCO started. So yeah. for me, I am um so I have this like bad habit of like like letting my room fall apart and then like like leaving it like that and then like being like I don't even I I would like it would be so messy that I wouldn't want to sleep on my bed I'll sleep on the floor like a sad like homeless person what? Yeah. Oh my god you're like a fish Yeah. Hey, hello. Exactly. I sleep on the couch at least, okay, not on the floor. Yeah, yeah. I'm like quite sad sometimes. Yeah. So like I mean, I sometimes do that when like the, the I get super busy, right? I'll just be like, yeah, because mm. I have this thing where oh, if I clean, I have to like do everything. So by everything, I mean like the fan, the the mm. whole works, right? But right. since MCO started, I have so much free time because you know you can't do anything, can't go anywhere. Then yeah. I I have been my room is cleaner than ever. I'm so proud of myself. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Like I and I have the time and energy to spend on it, right? So like I feel like with with MCO, like after this, the question is whether or not it will remain clean after MCO ends and I can go back out. For um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a yes. Like so, I feel like that aspect of my life. Um, has changed, right? So, like, how, okay. what about you guys? Like, how has your life changed? Well, don't start all at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't know because like... the first the first half of MCO was really difficult for us because we were still working. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So, um, I, we it's been easing in for a little bit because now how how many how many weeks has it been from working um, from home for us I... now for us? Oh, for you guys, I think Five. three. Three five? weeks, five weeks. Nicole says five. Yeah, it's been I, five weeks. No la, three weeks la. We were work, working from home. Yeah, two to three weeks, mm. right? Okay, mm. so we're catching up to everyone that's been stuck for five weeks. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. right. Yeah. So yeah, Gibo, you're right. We're kind of slowly easing into it, but w- you've noticed, right? Your lifestyle has changed or tweaked a little bit. Yeah, like Gibo, in your case, right? Um, before MCO, you'll be going out every single weekend. You'll be spending oh. a lot of money. So yeah. once this MCO is done, are you going to be the same party, Gibo? Or are you going to be like, you know, staying at home more? Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as soon as, as, long as, uh, as soon as MCO is going to be lifted, I'm going to throw a rave for about 100,000 <laughs> Malaysians. Um, I think I'm very and in a very, in a very close space. Okay. Yeah. So, um, just come join my party after MCO. Yeah, um, <laughs> don't worry, guys. I have, um, I'll, I'll call PDRM on, on him. Thanks, yes. Nandini. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, okay. I'll be there. Don't worry. Oh, wow. We're going to talk about some Malaysia. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah, what about you, Ardi? How has your life changed? It's been, oh, uh, well, I've been baking a lot more. Kind of like you, I've been cooking a lot more, which is a good thing, you know. But I've also realized that my showering habits have changed as well. So we come onto the show every single day still, even though we're working from like five o'clock in the morning. So we have a shower then, right? But yeah. usually we're stuck at work all the way till we're done, which is around a little bit eight, later after the afternoon. Mm. Yeah. So now that we're done with the show at 10 o'clock in the morning, I have another shower. What? Okay. Are yeah. you wasting water? Why? Hey, I'm not wasting me. water. Okay, I'm just using, water. You're, you're at home. I mean, wait, you, you shower before working and then right yeah. after sh- work, you'll shower again. Yeah. But and you're at I'll home. You're already night. clean. I'm not that. I mean, I'm clean, clean, but like, I like to smell good. Yeah, wear but perfume. that's 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 yeah, hygiene, you, no, right? No, no, yeah. don't wear perfume when you're dirty. You're disgusting. Go, Mandy. No, but he's work, but he's working from home, Mandy. Oh yeah, you Mandy kita. I hari ni thank God I Mandy. Oh thank God, syukur alhamdulillah hang Mandy. Yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah, what like what about you? Um, I've always been person who doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna spend lesser because even before MCO, I don't go out a lot. I mean, okay. I stay at home a lot. Yeah. So looking at MCO, I I feel so comfortable, man. Okay, wait. I mean, Nandi, okay. just look at this clothes. It's not even clothes he's wearing. Okay, that's how his lifestyle has changed. What are yeah, you wearing? Not... This is just a blankie. Okay. I'm yeah, exactly. Gonna... He's not wearing anything. <laughs> can Can we talk about something else? <laughs> what I'm wearing? Anyway, <laughs> I feel like. So I, I as much as like I want to be idealistic and say that like oh all our lives oh suddenly we're gonna be like nicer better people mm. we're gonna spend less money mm. you know we're gonna like um kind of like you know make some lifestyle changes that are like better right because like yeah. we, we have spoken about like 
um what's that called like how the environment is like better and stuff but in order for that to like um to happen kind of retained if to mm-hmm. happen we need to make life those lifestyle changes so yeah. uh gibo cannot be partying all the time because every time he goes out you know cars emission blah 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 so like if you really love mother nature you can't you got to I, I, I walk to my parties then <laughs> oh, no! okay so that's great okay yeah you walk to your party but also guys like i want to remind no i i'm sure you guys know but like i i kind of want to like remind this to like not just um other people but also myself that mm. when mco is lifted right it doesn't mean that our lives can go back to the way exactly the way it was right yeah. because mm. mco being lifted does not mean that social distancing has to end mm, social mm. distancing may not end for the foreseeable future which yeah. will be earlier like early next year or longer right so mm, I, mm. i think like the alarm has to be there when the government said that oh spm is going to be pushed to uh, the first quarter of next year not january but the first <laughs> quarter of of 2021 yeah so, mm-hmm. like, that's how uncertain things are right now so lifestyle changes i feel like you have to like you have to change some aspects of your life mm. in order for oh, you yeah. to kind of like get through this better right so uh with money right like doesn't mean that oh i'm so sick that let's go party let's go shop let's go like do whatever just travel go crazy yeah so yeah. traveling is also another thing that i think like um a lot of people like who like traveling are going to struggle with but mm. you just kind of do it lah. like or yeah in order to help the economy the local economy travel like locally yeah i think a lot yeah. of people's lifestyles are going to change especially with this covid-19 outbreak like you were saying about flying right i think flying yeah. now is only going to be affordable to the rich Uh, I would think if you think about the future after what's it going to be like living I think those are going to be some of the things that are going to change. I think flying is still like should 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 then be that big of a problem but I feel like it, to a lot of people it won't be money that's the concern the concern will be the safety reasons right like oh is it yeah. safe for me to go to this part of the world you know seeing that we still don't have a vaccine if we don't still don't yeah. have a vaccine right there are always risks that comes with like traveling and flying and all this stuff but i think that pe- there's going to be a heightened sense of cleanliness so i have a feeling that I, even after mco ends even say like end of the year like okay like thank like hopefully that like, covid-19 is like over the pandemic so i feel like people will will maybe practice cleanliness more Oh yeah, true. Yeah, because we've been there. We've been through a really difficult like rough patch where where cleaning could like avoid like, you know, basically getting sick, right? So I feel like eventually it will become a habit and people would be cleaner. I hope so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no more handshakes for a long time. Uh, yeah. Okay, I feel like handshakes are slowly going to be we can easy to handshakes, but I think it's it's the bigger stuff, right? Like bigger stuff like uh um, washing your hands. Yeah, wash your hands. yeah. If your hands are clean and not touching your face, put on makeup. Yeah. Then you never touch your face. Trust me. Um, <laughs> okay. No, seriously, I never touch my face. Yeah, you can't touch your face. I'm not. I don't touch my face. Um, Saying that makes me want to touch my face now. I know, right? Yeah, no, it's so oily. Face, you hands off. Yeah. So basically, like, I don't know. Like, if you've been like a shitty person before MCO, and like you had like a sudden realization that oh my god, I may die. Uh, once before this is all over then i don't know maybe be less less of an annoying horrible person after this ends because it, to a certain extent right the ones who come out of this alive and well and not having in, getting infected at all we're kind of lucky and it's kind of like a second shot at like life to a certain extent yeah right? yeah yeah it's it's everywhere the virus so it, we could it's very easy for us to get it but if we don't get it and we're like fine we don't have to spend anything on like medical bills kappa i think like mm. if you like a value life a bit more be a better person mm. or um help stop do not stop helping people out if you can yes. help people out it during a pandemic that means you have to me personally enough money to help people out it doesn't have to be a lot it doesn't have to be monetary but you can always <laughs> help people out like maybe that shouldn't stop i think that that's something that we could all do mm-hmm. yeah be nicer to to help care workers be nicer to the cleaning staff like don't stop being nice to them just because covid-19 is over you, we need to be nice to them because yes they're, yeah. they're human beings as well they're, exactly, exactly. why we mm-hmm. were busy at home like they were helping to fight covid-19 too exactly so yeah mm-hmm. i guess the whole takeaway is be a better person once this is all over okay that's a good lifestyle change yeah you heard that huffis be a better person okay 
I put on some best. clothes. Take a shower. Okay, fine. All right, goodbye. Bye. No, 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 don't take off your. <laughs> no. Fly FM, today's hottest music.